all day, every day, we run across naysayers who think marketing is the soft stuff and mm -hmm. that it doesn't drive revenue or you know it doesn't directly impact the bottom line revenue of a company. So let's debunk that myth, shall we? Well, in the B2B space in particular, it's about constant awareness. Like you have to constantly, as Eric alluded to earlier, you've got to be out there because there could be a six to nine month buying cycle and you've got to find the person at just the right spot in their journey when they're ready to make that next move. Uh, but they've got to know you exist bef before that happens. And it takes 21 plus times of them seeing a brand, of any of us seeing a brand before we really understand who it is. We're paying attention to what they actually do and the problems they could solve for us. So I think uh, discounting that uh, steady overarching awareness um, is pretty common. Everyone wants to just get to conversion. Like, I want to run an ad, I want to sell five things, and I want that to, you know. Um, but that can happen on top of the awareness campaigns, but without that like constant awareness through if it's paid ads, the organic, um, all these different mediums, email is huge. You know, like we'll send out emails and sometimes <laughs> your teammates are like, stop promoting me. <laughs> I can't handle any more phone calls, right? Yeah. Like sometimes that happens when it's the right time and we've hit that trigger just right, but sometimes it's like, oh yes, I'm gonna save that email for three months and get back to it when I know uh, this decision is coming up for me. So I think that's one of the biggest ones. Yeah, yeah and I do like the fact, you, know, you say the naysayers, you say that marketing's all the soft stuff. They're exactly right, it is. Marketing is all the, does the brand look exactly the same every time we put it out there? Is the color the same? Do we repeat it? And what's interesting is brands that could afford to make the mistake to not do it consistently, never do. So Target, uh, Apple, Old Navy, all use white, but they use a different shade of white. And that's why you know what the commercial is before you see the logo. Mm. <laughs> right? So there is like stuff there is <laughs> stuff like that, but it's yeah. the thing that moves people along that awareness continuum. You know, the twenty one times then five to seven for someone to close the deal and making sure that you're continually consistently using the brand, consistently using the messaging, making so that that you think it's like we spend hours working in, on an asset. You're like, ah, mm -hmm. oh, let's look at this thing. They literally spend five to ten seconds looking at that same asset. Yeah. And if they don't get this is a gen cap asset or this is a such and such as asset, then we've lost to the battle. And we're hopeful that we can get across one or two things, even subconsciously, of oh, they're sending me something about this insurance or this is a new trend. And that's really all that we we can impact in that space.